Assalamu alaikum my dear all students I hope you all are fine and in good health Today I'm going to discuss about learning outcome of this lesson use the types of nouns common proper collective concrete and abstract nouns What are the learning objectives of this lesson identify different types of nouns in given sentences identify different types of nouns in constructing sentences as you all are aware about nouns what are nouns noun is the name of any place anything or object so when we are going to about the types of nouns so automatically these are very important in constructing the sentences to provide a contextual meaning and a deep meaning in any given context so students i am going to show you the different types the different categories of the nouns along with their examples so you will be able to analyze what is a common noun what is a proper noun and what is a collective noun and concrete noun so let's start with the nouns as i already have discussed noun nouns are the name of a place thing object there are several different types of nouns as you can see on the slides too what are common nouns <clears throat> students common nouns are the general words used to refer people places or things refers people places or things for example i'm writing what are common nouns like simple dog city happiness as you can see common nouns are those that refers to people places or things for example dog city happiness these are called common nouns what are proper nouns proper nouns refer a particular place thing or a person proper nouns are always please be uh, uh, keep it in your mind that proper nouns are always be in capital letter for example i am talking about new york for example mount everest students you can see that i used capital letter because the proper nouns should be capital and it refers to a important particular place or a person or object now i'm going to discuss collective nouns collective nouns are the words used to refer to groups as you can see for example group of animals for example group of people thanks for example like i am writing here the examples like herd committee school as you can see it refers to collectively collective like num persons group of people like these are called collective nouns what are concrete nouns students concrete nouns are the words used to refer to physical 
tangible objects that can be perceived through the senses concrete nouns are those physical tangible objects that can be perceived through the senses that we can see it from the senses for example table computer chair apple so students these are the physical tangible objects that we can easily perceive through our senses so these nouns are called concrete nouns now we already have discussed the proper noun collective nouns concrete nouns okay and the abstract nouns abstract nouns for example these are different ones that having different kinds of behaviors like for example that is totally behave examples using different types of nouns as you can see on the slides i have a common noun dog dog is a common noun proper noun john is coming to dinner so which one is the proper noun john the collective noun herd of a cattle was moving slowly across the field so herd is a collective noun now you can see that i like to write on this concrete noun table as you can see so table is a concrete noun abstract noun happiness is what we all strive for happiness is an abstract noun that we cannot see but we can experience we can feel that one these are called abstract nouns so in this way students we can find the different types of nouns and these different types of nouns can give you a different meaning and different understanding about the nouns different types of nouns and about how we can construct the sentences using these types of different types of nouns so this is all about the today's lesson about the types of nouns and the difference i hope now you have the better understanding about it and you are can easily identify the common nouns proper nouns collective nouns and the concrete nouns and abstract nouns i hope this video will be quite helpful for you if you find any kind of difficulty and problem please do consult your teachers and parents thank you very much